Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to demonstrate recursion. So recursion with functions is a function that calls itself, and then that function will call itself, then that function will call itself. You gotta make sure you have some sort of condition in there to prevent it from calling it itself forever, otherwise you'll get into what is called an infinite loop, and that is not good, not good at all. Okay, so what we'll, be doing is creating a factorial function so if you don't know what factorial is it is essentially if you specify a number five for example factorial of five is five times by four times by three times by two times by one and factorial is usually specified as exclamation mark five or is it five exclamation mark i can't remember let me have a quick look I'm going to give you the wrong information. Exclamation mark comes afterwards. Okay. And then that would give us, so 20, 60. Is that right? 20, 60, 120, yes. 120 like so. And if we had 6 factorial, it is basically just all of this, but just times by 6. And as we know what 5 factorial is, 120, just go times by 6, etc, etc. And obviously, we want it to work whether we do 10 factorial, 1 factorial, 3 factorial, 100 factorial. And obviously, you can imagine trying to you know, put this in yourself can be very cumbersome. And depending on what the user wants, you might not know. So what we're going to do is create a function for this and to be able to work it out. So what we are going to do is have a function. So it's going to be int, so it's going to return an integer value. And this is going to be called, we're going to say calculate factorial. And this will take in a parameter. The parameter will be an integer, and I'll call it n. This is basically this, you know, the number that you want to calculate the factorial for. To do this, what we want to say is if n is less than or equal to 0, then we are terminating it. And we are just going to return 1. Else, you know, we can actually do something. Else, what we do is we return n times by factorial. We calculate factorial. So whatever our method name is, times by this, but it's n minus one. So what's happening is actually, you know what? I am going to put this in a variable. So I'm gonna say result equals this, and, and it is result that I'll be returning. So if I was just to run it, one second, I will explain it a bit more. I just want to do, I'm just going to call it now, and I'm going to say int res equals calculate factorial, and we'll do for 6, we know what the result should be, print res, and if we run it, we get 720, so this method has, you know, technically run multiple times, we can prove that by putting a print here, so if we do print, hello, we get hello run multiple times. Obviously, if we did this, you know, two, for example, it's only run. You might think, why is it run three times? Two, one, and then when it hits zero, that's the terminating condition. So it's technically run then as well. Even though we've only actually called from our main the function once. So you can see that the method is being called multiple times. So if we keep it as six, that is fine. I'll get rid of this. So if it's zero or less, that's terminate condition. We just return one. Otherwise, what we are doing is we are times in the current number by the number below it. And then when we do that, that is times in that number by the number below it. And that keeps going till it hits this condition. Once this condition is met and it returns one, you know, one time anything is the same, hence why it just trickles back up and it does return result. So that's it for recursive functions. Obviously, if I let's say if I put 
15 in here this will be a pretty large number now so as you can see there's a pretty large number do something a bit more manageable like 10 and that's how you do recursive function depending on the scenario your recursive function it might not be factorial it might be something else but that's fine the principle is exactly the same if you have any questions however feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video